Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. How nice it is to be back with you. I want to tell you about uh, a student. I was privileged to teach for 18 years at IBC in Indianapolis. And uh, one of the highlights of the school was to be able to teach ministerial students. So a lot of those students have become good preachers, good pastors, leaders across the country. And there's one particular young man that I'm thinking of now that uh, had received the privilege of going overseas to the mission field. Now, it was one of those places where the people walked for many, many miles, like 25 miles to get to the church service. And uh, they were a relatively poor people. Well, they brought this young man in and set him on the end. And they had a stool or a chair or something fixed. And his leg was bandaged up to his, all the way to his knee. And they put his leg on that stool or chair and uh, he was sitting there. And this uh, minister who had formerly been a student preacher was preaching. And the power of God began to move. And all of a sudden, folks noticed that the bandage that he had on because it was swollen so big, the bandage was hanging down. It was loose. They went over to him and they took the bandage off and his foot and leg was totally healed. And so everybody was so excited because of a, a miracle was happening, and I'm sure the preacher was was appreciative and excited. And one of his first times something like this had happened. In fact, many times you preach a lifetime and not see it like that. And. Uh, so he asked someone, he had brought a, a bag, a sack with him, and he asked someone to hand it to him, and they handed it to him. And he took out of it his other shoe and put his shoe on. They asked him, said, how did it happen? that you had your other shoe with you. Well, he said, they told me that there was going to be a man that's going to be preaching about Jesus and that if, if, if I could get there, that Jesus is a healer. And he would heal me. And so I just figured that if I was going to get healed, I'd need my other shoe. Well, let's put it like this. We know that Jesus is a healer. We know he does heal. We know that the stripes were laid upon his back 
for our healing. We know that there's power in the name of Jesus to heal us. Let me ask you, when you go to church, do you bring your other shoe? Oh, yes, we know that he can do it. But do we believe that he will do it? I want you to know that he can, we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Bring your other shoe Sunday. Thank you.